How to make greeting cards using Canva. Hello everyone, I'm Jason and in this tutorial I'll be walking you through how to make double-sided greeting cards using Canva. The first thing you will need to do is go onto canva.com and from there you are going to create an account. You can create an account on Canva for completely free. All you will need is your email address. Once you have created your account on Canva, what I want you to do next is open a second tab and you are going to go onto bookoo.com. Once on this website, I want you to tap right where you see KDP Cover Template Generator. And the reason why we are on this website and the reason why we want the KDP Cover Generator is because this is going to be the template that we are going to be using to create our greeting card. And the reason why we prefer, I prefer that we download a template of this website compared to just going onto Canva and typing in, for example, 5x7. And by the way, 5x7 is the standard or better yet, the most common choice for a standard greeting cards as you can see right here. But the big thing about it is by typing in 5x7, you don't account for the bleed. You don't account for the section in the middle right there that you fold your greeting card. So we are going to be accounting for that as we want to create a professional looking greeting card. The first thing you're going to do is go right where you see width and you're going to put in 5. Then you're going to go where you see height and you're going to put in 7. Then where you see page count you're going to put in 30. Then you're going to scroll down. And right where you see email address, you are going to fill in your email address right there. Then you are going to fill in it again. And you are going to tap on icon send and then tap on email cover template. Let me. After you have done that, you will be redirected to this page. And all you have to do is tap on maybe next time. Then scroll down and tap on continue. Once you have done that, they will email the template to you. And all you'll need to do now is download the template. So let me do that real quick. Once you have downloaded the template, what I want you to do is go onto canva.com and you are going to open the template and you are going to see the size as you can see right here. The exact size that you should type in is 262.07 mm by 184.15 mm. So all you're going to do now is go back into Canva. So let me do that real quick. You're going to tap right where you see custom size and right where you see PX, you want to tap on that and you're going to change it to MM. That's very important. Then you're going to enter in 262.07 by 184.15. After you have done that, a new page will open up as you can see right here. And the next thing you're going to do is tap on uploads and you're going to simply paste the template that you have downloaded right here or you're going to upload the template that you have downloaded. Then you're going to add it to the canvas. So you're going to simply tap and drag and place it as you can see right here. The template what I want you to do is tap on the canvas. Then you are going to tap on the transparency icon right beside the lock at the top menu option. And you are going to slightly pull it to the right. After pulling it to the right, you are going to tap on the color box at the top right here. And you, are, you can choose whichever color you want. I will be using white as majority of gift cards tend to be white. And you can see right here if I were to tap on the transparency again. And carry it to the left to zero as you can see right there. The background is completely white. But we want the background to slightly show that we can know the difference between the front and the back of the gift card. So after doing this, all you would need to do now is simply tap on duplicate as we want to duplicate this page. As remember that we are creating a two-sided gift card or greeting card better yet. So this will be the front and the back and this will be the inside pages. So all you would need to do now is go over to the left hand menu option and from there you could tap on text. After tapping on text you can choose whichever font style you want. This being a simple greeting card and a tutorial I'll simply use this one right here. So I'll tap on this text style. 
So I'm going to simply add it right here. So I'm going to say greeting cards. So let me do that real quick. And you can also change the font style or size if you want by going up to the top left hand corner. And you can also change the font color if you wanted also. After adding greeting card, what I'm going to do next is go over to the left hand menu option again. And then I'm going to tap on elements. After tapping on elements, I'm going to tap, type in smiley face. And I'm going to use this graphic right here. So I'll simply place the graphic right here so you can see how it looks. And by the way, if I were to tap on transparency and carry to, so let, so I'll simply place that graphic right there. And by the way, you can see how my greeting card is coming along, as you can see right here. So this is how the front will look. After doing this, all you would need to do now is tap right where you see transparency again, and you are going to carry it straight to zero. So this is our front page right here, and this is our back page. After doing that, we are going to scroll down to page two, and this is the inside page. So on the inside page, all you would need to do now is add the text or image that you want to add. So again, you could go over to text, tap on text, then you can decide the type of text that you would like to use. After deciding the type of text, you can add the text message that you would like to add right here, or better the message that you would like to add in your greeting card. You can add it in this section right here. And if you also wanted to add an image, you can add an image, or you could go over to elements and you could add another image. For example sake, let me add another image real quick. So let's say I want to use another image. All I would have to do is select the image that I want and I could place it right here. So I'd simply tap on the image. Then I could minimize the size. And remember that we are using the bleed template right there to know the difference between the front and the back or between page one and two. And you can see it right there. After doing that, all I would have to do is tap on transparency again, then carry to zero. And you can see right there. So this is how my greeting card will look. This is the front of the greeting card. This is the foldable section right in the middle right here. And then this will be the inside of the greeting card. Once you have done that, all you have to do now is go up to the top right hand corner. Tap on share. After tapping on share, you are going to scroll down. And you are going to tap right where you see download. And from there, you can select all pages then tap on download and that's it that's how to create a two-sided greeting card hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe